Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I will be talking about the Barter Bricks, this new item that has been added into the game in patch 10.1 and I will explain how you can basically convert these different items into gold if you don't really want to use them for anything else. So for those of you who are not really familiar with these different Barter Bricks, basically you can get them by doing different type of activities. First of all, what you want to do is come here and talk to Ponzo in Loam is located just here in the main city and Ponzo will offer you a first quest that will reward you with your first barter brick then after that when you open different type of chests and everything all around the Zarek cavern you will have a chance at also getting some of these barter bricks so this is another good way to get more if you want to farm some of these after that when you reach level run on 3 with the Loam Nifun the new reputation from patch 10.1 you will be able to unlock two weekly quests that you can take directly from this guy in Valdraken and these will reward you with 10 battle bricks per week in total. And then after that, when you will reach Renown level 12, you will be able to also unlock the different battle boulders and with that normally you should be able to directly buy some of the battle bricks by getting some of these battle boulders and you will be able to buy them directly from Ponzo. So when it comes to why these different battle bricks are so important, it's pretty simple. First of all, as you can see, when you talk to Ponzo, you can buy different types of techniques and of very interesting items with these different battle bricks. All of them are mostly linked to reputations, but you also have two other items. You have this pet and this mount that you can also buy with the different battle bricks. When it comes to the different professions, so of course you have these different items that will allow you to get more knowledge points with the different professions. And then also you have the Ponzo Cream and the Glimmerog Timeshare Voucher. As you can see, the Ponzo Cream can be purchased for 25 of the Battle Bricks and the Glimmerog Timeshare Voucher for 80 of the Battle Bricks. And then with these two items, all you want to do is go just here in, again, the main town, the Loam Nifan town. And here you will find some of the profession trainers for all the different professions and they will sell you some of these new plants and recipes for some of these Ponzo Scream and Glimmerog Timeshare Voucher. So this is something that is very useful because if you are someone who is trying to make a lot of gold by crafting all these different items, you definitely want to get your hands on these different Ponzo Scream and Glimmerog Timeshare Voucher as soon as possible in order to then start crafting these different items. But if you're someone who doesn't really care about crafting items and who is not really interested in all that side of the market, there is still something else that you can do in order to make some gold pretty easily with these different barter bricks. Basically, as you can see, when you purchase some of these plants and recipes, some of them will be vines when picked up, but others will be BOEs. And so it means that you will then be able to actually sell them on the auction house for quite a lot of gold. So what I think you should do if you don't really have anything better to do with your battle bricks and you don't really care right now to buy the pet or the mount, is to simply pick a profession because again, in order to purchase these different plants, even the BOE ones, you will need to get at least 25 or 35 with the specific profession from Dragonflight. But again, this is something that is very easy. For instance, if you want to buy this one right here, you don't have black anything, you can simply upgrade it. Normally in not even 10 or 15 minutes, you should be able to unlock at least the rank 25 or 35 and then you will be able using one of these Glimmerog Timeshare Voucher or the Ponzo Scream to then purchase the BOE plan. And so really all you want to do is to select the ones that you think are going to be the most interesting and then you can buy them and sell them on the auction house. One thing that is important to mention is the fact that not all of them are BOE. So unfortunately for some professions you won't be able to do that. For instance for blacksmithing as you can see one of them is now BOP, so you won't be able to sell it on the auction house. Some of the techniques that you can buy for inscription are also binds when picked up, but not all of them. As you can see, some of them can be then sold on the auction house, but just make sure to not buy the one that are BOP because otherwise you won't be able to do anything with it other than learning it and then crafting the different items. The two recipe for alchemy are also BOP, so you won't be able to sell these ones on the auction house. Same with all the different formula for enchanting. So again, don't really buy these ones if you just want to sell the formula on the auction house. And finally, the one you have for tailoring is also BOP. 
So I would say that some of the most interesting ones are going to be the ones for lever working because these are some new armor pieces that you can then craft. And so I think these are really going to be good. And also, of course, the new armor kit is going to be very, very interesting. But this one, you will need to wait a little bit longer to get one of the Bimorok Timeshare Voucher. But these three, I think, are definitely interesting and you can sell them for a lot of gold on the Ocean House. I would say that the Shadowy Belt clasp is definitely going to be interesting as well and something that will probably be in high demand. So as this is very difficult to get because you need 80 of the Barter's Brick, probably the plants are going to sell for a lot of gold as soon as people will start posting them on the auction house. So this is another good investment. You also have the two designs for the new optional crafting regions from Jewel Crafting. I'm not sure exactly how good these will be, but this is another thing you might want to buy uh, and to sell then on the auction house. But again, I'm not entirely sure how good they will be. And of course, you also have this toy right here that you will be able to craft with uh, Jewel Crafting. But again, for the toys, I wouldn't recommend to spend too much on that. Then you have, you have like a few interesting ones with inscription. For instance, the technique for the Easting Rune can be pretty interesting. And then you have a few of these different like uh, technique for the customization of your new Drake. That can also be interesting, but really here, I would recommend you to focus on the technique for the Easting Rune. And then you also have the different glyph for Demon Tur and Warrior. But again, I'm not sure if these will sell for a lot of gold. Finally, you have the schematic for the Polarity Bomb and then also for the Mallard Mortar. So again, this is another toy. The toys, it's always a little bit of a wild card. So it's really up to you to see if you want to purchase this one and then sell it. And then the schematic for the Polarity Bomb. I think this one is really interesting and definitely a good one to invest in, I would say. So for instance, uh, I took just two of them as an example. So for the schematic Polarity Bomb, as you can see on North American Realms, there's only five available. And they sell on average for around 700, 800,000 gold with one of them that already got sold for 500,000 gold, which is really good. And then on European realms for the pattern, the Spore Colony Shoulder Guards, they're selling for on average 600,000 gold. There are 61 available already. And as you can see, again, many of them got sold for a lot of gold. So definitely some good items to have up right now on the auction house. Also, as a lot of people are not aware that you can actually buy from the different vendors these different recipes and everything and then sell them on the auction house, what you want to do is use trade chat in order to advertise these different items. And like that, you might find a buyer even faster. Finally, one last thing I really want to mention and insist on is the fact that for some reason, some of them were initially BOE. So as you can see, for instance, this one right here was selling for around 600,000 gold as well. And it became BOP after the launch of patch 10.1. So I'm not sure exactly the reason why, and I'm not sure if Blizzard is planning to do it with all of them. So far, I've checked and all the ones that are BOE are still BOEs on the auction house. But keep in mind that for some overs, for some reasons, they went from BOE to BOP. And this is something that, again, we're not sure why, and that might happen with some of these other BOE plans and recipes in the future. Again, if, for instance, you decide to buy one of them, and when you're trying to sell it, it becomes BOP, then what you can always do is simply learn the recipe or the plan and then start crafting the item in order to make some gold. Even though it will require more effort and everything, you might even end up making even more gold like that just by crafting these different items. So that's pretty much it for today's video. I really hope you will be able to make some gold with all these different plants and recipes. Keep in mind, the sooner you do it, the better it is in terms of competition and prices. And if you try to do it maybe in one month from now, it might not be as good as it is right now. I will be back very soon with more guides and more videos. And in the meantime, I wish you all a great Sunday. Bye.